Hello everyone, Dr. Suresh here and in this video we will be talking about the minor metabolic pathways of carbohydrates. So one among such is uronic acid pathway and uronic acid pathway is useful in making of glucuronic acid and we are all aware what is the use of glucuronic acid in the liver. Along with the glucuronic acid except humans this uronic acid pathway could able to synthesize ascorbic acid okay such as lower uh, animals like pirates okay and also this pathway useful in production of pentoses right and it is an alternative oxidative pathway for glucose like H ambition but it doesn't generate any ATP okay or energy so coming to the point uronic acid pathway is the source of UDP glucuronate okay the main substance which is used by liver cells in detoxification of uh, bilirubin like conjugation reactions okay and UDP glucuronate is a precursor in synthesis of proteoglycons and glycoproteins so you know the difference between proteoglycons and glycoproteins proteoglycons where carbohydrate composition will be more and protein content will be less in case of glycoproteins more protein content and less carbohydrate content right for those making like especially glycos aminoglycons such as GACs GACs otherwise known as mucopolysaccharides or uh, heteropolysaccharides okay and as I mentioned UDP glucuronate is involved in detoxification reactions that occur in liver and it is especially useful in bilirubin metabolism and steroid hormone metabolism so when you go through the metabolic reactions or steps of uronic acid pathway first glucose converted to UDP glucose okay and here this UDP glucose again converted to UDP glucuronic acid and from here UDP will be removed and there will be formation of D glucuronic acid and this glucuronic acid after removing like a carbon like decarboxylation okay minus of one carbon six minus one it will be five carbon that will be L xylulose okay remember and this xylulose has got two phase as I mentioned okay up to formation of xylulose it is this pathway is same for animals okay and for humans okay and from this one from the L xylulose because of the presence of the enzyme L xylulose reductase okay so this L xylulose reductase will be diverted and in making of vitamin C okay and here this xylulose can be converted to xylitol and this xylitol again converted to D xylulose and finally xylulose 5 phosphate and from here this can easily enter into a champion so this is the sequential reactions which are taking place in uronic acid pathway so as i mentioned this xylulose reductase this is the enzyme which is mainly required in conversion of diversion of the pathway to making of vitamin C okay and why humans cannot synthesize why humans cannot synthesize vitamin C because we are lacking an enzyme glonolactone oxidase glonolactone oxidase okay so because of this enzyme deficiency we cannot synthesize vitamin C or ascorbic acid okay and what about xylulose reductase so because of absence of this enzyme what happened most of the xylulose will start excreting in the urine and leads to essential pentosuria okay xylulose is one of the pentose okay ketose type of pentose which because it is not converting into vitamin c or it is not going in making of xylulose 5 phosphate which can enter into hmp shunt so most of the xylulose will start excreting in the urine leads to a condition called essential pentosuria for essential pentosuria remember the enzyme deficiency is xylulose reductase okay and for vitamin C pathway deficiency there is the absence of enzyme glonolactone oxidase so these are the two significant enzymes to be noted in uronic acid pathway one is glonolactone oxidase other one is L xylulose reductase so that's all about uronic acid pathway thanks for watching thank you